Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Myself Shiva Prasad. I hope you are all doing great. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to tap the bell icon so that you won't miss any notifications from my end. Let's get into today's lecture. In this video, we are going to understand how we can convert our local repository to a remote repository and why we need to do. So basically when you are working on something personally, so I mean when you are doing some mini projects or else when you are doing daily coding and you want to show this to a wider audience. So GitHub is a good place where you can maintain all your code repositories and you can just share your profiling so that people come to know how good work you did. Without further delay, let's get into the actual topic. So the first thing is, so I am having a Spring Boot project called data transfer object pattern. So my goal is I need to convert this directory as a local repository. Then I need to convert as a remote rem remote repository. The first and foremost step for me is go to terminal. First get init. Why we, why we need to execute this? Because it will convert our current directory as a local repository. You can see here there is going to be a dot git folder. Okay, I will show you that. If you see here, there is a dot git folder which just got created. The next step for us is we need to stage all our changes. For that git add. Okay, it's done. Then we need to execute git commit. Push commit. Yeah, we committed. The next step is we need to create a repository in our GitHub. So this is my GitHub account. So I'm going to create here data transfer object pattern. So done. So I'm leaving all the default options as same. Then create repository. And you see we landed on a page where it is trying to provide some information to us. We can leverage this. So the next step is git remote add we need to execute this so that we can trying to map our local repository to remote repository yeah it's done the next step is we need to push our changes so before that tell me how our local repository is going to know to which branch in report remote repository it needs to push because a repository can contain multiple branches right so for that we need to set an upstream so for that git push iphone iphone set upstream then origin space master why are you giving like this if you observe carefully Where is this? Mm, just a moment. Okay, go to repositories and go to here where I can see the branch here. Issues, no pull request. So basically, this is on master. Okay. You can see here this is on master so i will show you once i what i can say push the changes so i'm giving origin master so that my local repository come to know okay in report repository i need to push changes to master and you see here the push operation got executed okay you see it 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 transferred okay total 31 files to my <clears throat> what i can say remote repository now come and refresh this repository and you see here just two minutes back okay so this all came here and you see there is only one branch master that's the reason i chosen here origin master you can choose any what you can say particular branch in which you would like to push your changes and now this done now tomorrow you are doing some more changes okay let's assume i mean this code so I'm going to create a one more package. New package. 
so inside this I'm going to create something called DTO and here I'm creating something called user DTO and it, it is going to hold some properties like private int id private string name and I'm going to have some getter and setters and I'm going to have a parameterized constructor okay let's assume I'm doing some changes to existing one okay so now this is going to be your version 2 assuming previous push was version 1 okay that's all about version control system git okay now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come here and I'm going to see my status of this repository git status and you see when I executed this it is saying your branch is up to date with master and there is an untracked files okay that is nothing but what I can say under DTO there is user DTO okay then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to stage these changes and now if you see here user DTO got staged okay and this is now ready to committed so git commit iphone m added user DTO yeah it got added now we can simply execute git push we no need to execute like git push set stream origin master because that is a one time operation which we already did now we can simply do git push and you see it got pushed successfully let's go and see in our repository and you carefully observe there is a something called just before 29 and 30 seconds added user DTO if we go to inside here main and then pattern and we created a DTO package there and inside user DTO so this is all you can maintain your particular code base and projects or anything in github and just give your username to wider audience so that they come to know. thanks a lot bye bye i hope you learned something new today i will meet you in the next lecture